the best fairy nine, the final race of the season, the entry into the chase of the Grand National goes two miles six. Let's get one of them. Martin Leedon's fourth form for Matt Cooper is the top one. Martin Leedon's seven towers trying to grab the joint champion. Cinnamon de Waal, Alex Cherry, Impanina de Mole, Alex Cherry, Olive Oil, Matt Cooper, and Radio Song, Hollywood, only six winners. The final reason of the season. I hope you had a good season, and I'll see you again for next season. We'll be in May. Hopefully, we'll jump the first fence, fourth full perform. And Matt Cooper, top trainer at the moment on the 11 one ahead of Martin Leiden who has one in this on seven towers so Martin could draw level I'll jump the next and I'll jump it safely so Martin hoping to grab a win here and to finish trying to top trainer with Mark Cooper whatever happens Mark Cooper will be top trainer he either be on his own or he'll be with Martin as joint trainer Alex Cherry, good run back in third on eight. There's two in this. And they got to swing out in the country. Full circuit of the Grand National course ahead of them then. And fourth hole perform. Two limbs clear of seven towers. Inside is Empanina de Mall. Then comes Radio Song. Olive oil has one behind and that one is Chanel Naval. Navalis, is it? I would I would say Navalis. And forceful perform on one to this fence, which was the first in the Grand National a weeks ago, jumping it. And forceful perform jumped it well. Seven Towers is going well in second. Jump this fence. Ambrons there. And track looks wonderful today. Nice end of the season here in for Aintree. Summer just right around the corner. Forceful perform on the break on the jumpers. Form leads by a couple of lengths from Radio Song in second now. Jumping this fence and they're all jumping well. Uh, can be said. Well, in beneath the moon, force of the both fell last time out. Olive Oil has been known to fall as well. Oh, uh, we got on board. Should know Naval. This the leader though is forced to perform. Is they going to the canal to the next? I don't know. Where we are, jump in this fan, and then we're on Impanita de Mole, jumped it well. Seven Towers just going back there on the outside, but it's fourth. And we lost Chenon Naval, so he was on the back of that, and he must have changed us, and that horse collapsed to the ground. And there we lost Olive Oil. I'm sorry if I jinxed that one because I mentioned it fell times jump next and Mark Cooper's down to one now and that also been passed by his main rival Martin Leading Seven Towers who goes on by a length and jumping this and again that will force perform down on his neck there down on his nose he looks to be struggling though I get seven towers is one three seven handicap hurdler so he has a bit of class and Seven Towers got Radio Song on the inside of Derek Hinton's. Top rated 100 mark on the enters. One ahead of Seven Towers and 99 rated. And these two, I think it might be between these two because the fourth one performs ridden along triggersly back in third. And Impany de Mo is out of sight. You might see from this angle now. So Seven Towers seems to be going well. Just two more fences for him to jump. Good earn that. Can he jump the last two fences? Another ability to fend off Radio Song on the inside. Impanita de Mo is making ground. He's coming to challenge for third 
has come into the pitch and staying on strong as Sam Todd quickens up there. Oh, he quickened up and jumped that perfectly forward to find them clear rage of song now. It was right under pressure in second, then Panini the more in third, and then falls with to Martin Lee and Sam Todd come towards the final fence. As he comes towards it, he's up and over, and now he's well clear. And it's going to be joint top then trainer then. Martin Lee's the only runner in the end this day. Takes him to 11, he's well cleared in Bernardo Moore trying to stay on and he is staying on. But I think the old jock is taking it easy on the horse in front. And up to his line, it's seven towers, five and clear in Bernardo Moore in second. Regis Hardy third. And finally, falls of horse. The joint leaders then, joint championship winners Matt in the lead and Matt Cooper. Well done, both of you. Both ended up with 11 winners apiece. And Congratulations, and I'll see you next year, everybody. Have a good break.